It is 8 a.m. and it is the morning of weigh-ins. I'm going to show you what I weighed last night. And here's what I weigh as of five minutes ago. So the weight I was at last night was pretty discouraging, um, obviously. You know, over 10 pounds higher than what I need to be at, and I'm supposed to be losing weight. I know that doesn't sound right, um, but we'll see. It's been hard to trust the process so far, but all you can really do is have faith that so many other people have done this before you. Um, and the math and the science are there just go with it so that's what I did um, the next part of this is there's a biological switch that you flip to start dropping the rest of the water that your body's holding and that biological switch is a natural diuretic which is a lemon so I cut up uh, a whole lemon, a bunch of pieces here, cut up a whole lemon and now I just have to eat an entire lemon and drink no water for the rest of the day. I basically get 16 ounces of water between now and weigh-ins and this is what 16 ounces of water looks like. This is weighed out, ready to go, that's all I get for the next nine hours. Fuck it, might as well do it. Here goes, I have to eat this whole lemon and I guess bottoms up. So good, so good, so natural. Uh, never, uh, oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, seconds. It's my breakfast. All right, I'm gonna finish these off, and then I'll check back in with you later. So it's about 10.30 and I'm going to have my first of maybe two meals today before weigh-in. I'm not eating any solid foods and I have a very restrictive um, water intake uh, for the day. So it's going to make eating a little difficult. I'm going to make uh, something with some protein powder, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently than maybe you're used to. So normally you would take a shaker and this has my 16 ounces of fluid that I talked about earlier this is my 16 ounces for the day everything I drink everything I do is gonna come out of this when it's empty it's empty so this 16 ounces of water has to last me if I were to make a protein shake you know I'm gonna need at least 12 ounces of that 
that's too much water for me to use at once and it's just not going to sit well. So what I'm going to do instead is make a protein sludge. The next step in this process is an Epsom salt bath. So, you might be able to hear, I got the water running now. I'm gonna pump up the heat as high as I can get it and then throw a large dose of this in there. Uh, soak for about 15 minutes and then come out. Dry off completely for about five minutes until your skin is kind of cool to the touch again. And then another uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll go two rounds to start. We'll see how that works, um, and then we'll go from there. So, time for the Epsom salt. I just finished my first 15 minute soak in the Epsom bath and I can say two things about it. Uh, first, it's torture. You've never experienced anything like that before when you're underwater and sweating. You're so hot that you feel like you're burning up from the inside and it's coming through your skin while you're underwater. That's a very unique feeling. Uh, second thing I can say about it is it was damn successful. Um, 15 minutes and it, and that sucked a pound and a half of water right out of my body. I was 183.8 when I got in. After I got out and dried off, I was 182.4. So, it was it was useful but i'm gonna say this is the last ditch if you ever do this um, going for round two right now and i'm bringing a secret weapon all right don't tell anybody but i got a little secret that you can use that will kind of up the ante what you're doing so my secret weapon, <laughs> good old Grey Goose. This video not sponsored by Grey Goose, but it could be, call me. So, I'm just gonna do one ounce of this. I'll take it out of the one ounce of water I'd be drinking today. So, one ounce of ice cold, excuse me kitty cat, of ice cold Grey Goose, just straight vodka and uh, we'll go from here so bottoms up all right give this a minute to sink in while the bath is running I just added the Epsom salt so a couple minutes and jump back in and report back from there All right, round two of the Epsom bath, and I'm pretty happy to report that this is my current weight. That my current weight is 181.2. So I need to be at, I think, 181.8 or below to make weight. And I still have three hours before weigh-ins. So I still have left um, 
the chance to shed some more between now and then to make sure I'm good and under. Very happy with where I'm at today. It has been an extremely difficult day. I cannot wait to eat. I still have about four hours before I can eat and when I can, you know, it's going to be time to carve up. But for now, it's on to the next thing to cut this weight out. I still have... What is this? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I still got 10 ounces of water in here. I haven't taken out the ounce for the secret ingredient earlier. Uh, so I got about 10 ounces of water left. <sighs> so we're just under two and a half hours until weigh in and I'm at weight. But at the moment, I don't want to go in at just that weight. Anything I can get under is gonna be a benefit. Um, I've already come this far, so really I can, you know, tighten that screw just a little tighter. And I have two little tricks left that I'm going to use. Um, the big one, and you may not be aware of this, so I wanted to share it here, is dandelion root. So this is dandelion root tea. It's just roasted dandelion root, and I'm going to use two bags. Um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna make this tea out of the little bit of water that I have left so this is what I have left to last me two and a half hours I'm gonna use this to make my tea that little bit of water I take in you know is going to add to my weight but dandelion root is like the most natural diuretic I'm also gonna squeeze everything I have left of one more lemon in there my body's gonna wanna push out any water that's left. If you have anything left, anything that's stubborn, this is gonna be what kinda puts you over the edge. Go ahead and use this. I promise you it's gonna help out. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this tea up and take it with me on the way uh, to my next and last little trick before we head to the weigh-in. Uh, I'm heading to the gym now. My plan is to do two rounds in the sauna. The way that you cut water in a sauna is, hold on, there's a cop behind me. This is awesome. So take two, uh, I had a cop behind me coming up the road. Not a big deal. But uh, just to be safe, I'll wait until I got to the gym. Okay. So I am uh, gonna head in now and do two rounds in the sauna. I'm finishing up that dandelion root and whole lemon tea. If you've never had this before, it tastes a little bit like, you know how when you let your dog outside, they kind of like to go to that one same area of dirt. Imagine if you took that dirt, boiled some water, and then steep the dirt in that water uh, and then drank that. I would do that twice before I do this once. This is terrible because it's so potent because I only use that much water. Anyway, before we left off, I was telling you how to do sauna rounds correctly. Your body responds to the heat of the sauna by making you sweat. What your body is doing is trying to cool you down. So it's using the water available to you to cool down your largest organ. Your largest organ, fellas, is your skin. So your body coats you in water. The way to optimize your time in the sauna is to do 15 minutes in the sauna until you have a rolling sweat, meaning uh, sweat forms and it immediately falls off. So you get a rolling sweat going. It will take about 15 minutes. So you should take 15 minutes down to your underwear, sit in the sauna, don't move. Just sit there for 15 minutes. After you sit there for 15 minutes, get out of the sauna and dry off completely. Dry yourself off until your skin is basically cool to the touch. If you do this, you're kind of resetting where you were. Even though you've already 
put your body through the stress of sweating it out the first round by cooling yourself down by taking all the water off you're given sweat a chance to form again so if you do that and then get back in the sauna for another 15 minutes that's more effective than sitting in there for an hour you know you can do the same amount of sweat in 30 minutes which you can do in an hour you don't need a sauna suit you don't need to dress up in trash bags like some vagrant and get in there and jog around and do all kinds of weird shit literally sit there think about how terrible this is and get out in 15 minutes that's it towel down dry till your skin is cool to the touch and then get back in so that's exactly what I'm gonna do now I've got two hours until weigh-in I want to shut down as much as I can I'll check with you guys later just left the gym did two rounds in the sauna and dropped about a pound and a half pound and a half almost two full pounds since the last uh, since I left home um, I just drove to the location of the meet I'm about to go inside and see if I can get weighed in finish this out and then it's time to eat so it has been a very long day it has been a very long day I'm gonna go in here I don't know if I'll be able to film inside but I'm gonna go ahead and get weighed in and I'll check in with you guys as soon as I can <sighs> I'm very excited very happy I just got weighed in I met the promoter very nice guy and here's what happened uh, I weighed in at 179.4 pounds. <laughs> so that's a 15 pound drop in 15 hours. 15 pounds in 15 hours and I was two pounds underweight. That's incredible. I'm very happy with that. And after talking with the promoter, I made a very, very good move getting to this weight. Because if nobody else, if no one misses weight and everybody makes the weight that they registered at, I'm the only person that made weight at 181 in the open category. Good job, mate. This guy's looking at me like I'm crazy. What's up, bro? So, I'm the only person in my category. I'm at least guaranteed last place. Whatever. So, you know exactly what time it is now. I'm going to drink this entire bottle of Pedialyte. And it's time to eat. It has been a hell of a day. Ugh.